Hello everybody and welcome to the video today. Today I'm going to do a little bit something different than I usually do. I'm going to be talking about Frosty Tools. FrostyTools.com is a new thing that has been coming around recently that lets you do all kinds of things. All kinds of things to help your stream grow and to help you grow as a streamer. I believe that interactivity is the best thing to grow your stream. To grow your stream on Twitch, you're going to want to be interactive with your chat, right? So here's what you do. Here's the new thing that I want to teach you about. We're going to talk today about shoutouts, about raids, and about ads. How you can tell your audience about your ads when you have set up your ad manager on Twitch.tv. So, Frosty Tools is a, is a new system, a new bot that's coming around that allows you to do things personalized. It lets you get more personal. It lets you get into their titles, their tags, and lets them just get to know you better as a, as that streamer. So if you have a new person come and chat, you give them a shout out, and then you get to know, oh, well, this person streams Dead by Daylight. This person streams Fortnite. This person streams Power World. Whatever it may be, so you get to know them better and get to understand their dynamic better. So I want to show you today how to use this, how to do this, and how to implement it into your chat. Let's get into it. And if you guys have not liked or subscribed to the content of this channel, I would love to see that. I would love to see you guys come around and drop comments and tell me what you'd like to see. If you want any more stream tips, let me know. I am more glad to help you. More than willing. Way more than willing. So thank you so, so much. And let's get into it. All right, everybody. So, this is FrostyTools.com. This is Frosty Tools. So, as you can see on the right corner, I am signed into my Twitch. You will have to sign into your Twitch to get into this. To even get to this website here. So, you'll have your channel connected. See, so my channel is connected here. And I agreed to the TOS of the service. There's also stuff for Jackbox over here for those that are Jackbox streamers. And a vibrator that shows how much you uh, you connect with the certain people that are live. So first things first. First step before you get to anything else below. Is going to be that you're going to want to go to your chat on Twitch.tv. Whatever your channel is. Obviously I am here in my channel. And you're going to want a forward slash mod. Frosty Tools. Dot com. See, so I already have it moderated, but you're gonna want to, you can do that, or you can go into your creator dashboard here and do it from there. You can go under community and go on rules manager, and then add add in the new the new role for them. Then. So after you mod it, after you make sure you mod and it's in there and it's secure and it's connected and it says connected above, you can check out the details of what it says. And you're going to want, these are originally going to start as disabled, so you're going to want to enable them. You want to enable them. You can edit the command SO or SSO, whatever you would like. I'm not sure if this works on Kick yet, ladies and gentlemen, but I know that for sure that this works on Twitch. So moving on, you can put in. So I have mine under explanation point so. I don't use any other shoutouts anymore. I just do the customs. So you can do that if you'd like as well. Oh, not me clicking something random. Um, who else can you shout out? You can shout out like. You can shout on anybody, but you can have it set up for only certain people to do it. You have only streamer, the mods and the VIPs, the mods and the VIPs, or anyone. So in my chat in particular, sometimes I don't have all my mods around or any mods around at all because I stream during the day when they are working. So I have mine set to mods and VIPs. So if I have a VIP come in there, I can the VIP can set it up as well. Another thing I love about this is that it asks for language, right? It asks you, you can do different languages, English, Spanish, German, Portuguese, whatever you need. French, you know, that's really cool and really diverse. It means that other streamers can use this as well. 
Here's another thing. Here's the four main things. I oh that's new. Doing announcement to, instead of chat. Include you include the link to the channel at the end. I always include the link so you if anybody wants to follow the person that I'm shouting out, they can click that link and go straight and follow them. Also trigger a shout out. I do not do that because I do that for certain significant events or occurrences. Automatically shout out raiders. This, again, this these two are new, but this will automatically shout out anybody that drops a raid for you. I'm going to even turn that on here. And do an announcement instead of chat. I'm going to leave it be. But here's what you're also going to want to do. You're going to want to take this. If you want to add this into your OBS, it'll pop up on the screen live while you're streaming. If you want to add that to your OBS, just to give you something special. I don't have that on. I uh, worked with and ran with it, and I did not set it up like that. On to the personalizations of the shoutouts itself. This is the most interesting, most cool thing. Because, again, they take your titles and your tags in order to create your personalized shout out of the of the streamer you're shouting out or the person textiles you can bold it you can italicize it bold italicize cursive bold cursive i do just normal i just do normal not everybody can read cursive so i explain it as normal and here's the different thing so you can do none or default you can do dr seuss viking pirate grizzled war vet uwu e-girl science sci-fi geek Emoji pasta movie announcer, film noir, detective, Shakespearean actor. Like you have all these different types. Or you can make your very own if you want. Um, Sixty Dixie is a new one. Medieval dialect. I think I'm going to keep that one for mine now. But I usually do either Dr. Seuss or the Shakespearean actor. But I've been mixing around. Just doing new ones as we go. And then when you change it, you're going to want to make sure to hit save so it saves. You can also throw in your favorite channel emotes. So since it's connected to my Twitch, it'll throw in my favorite emotes that I have selected. And it'll tell that. And you can also account, uh, connect to your bot so that it becomes you instead. Here's where, here's where the interesting part is. The second part. The second part is that. So you got the shout outs down, you go in your chat, you type in the explanation point SO, you shout out whoever you want to shout out, right? And you click here to give the permission to the to the the bot. You can also do attention where I have thank you for your patience, your support. These are this is the basic one. I have it enabled so that it tells them whenever my ads go off during my stream. You can also do recaps here. So like you can do Recaps of things that happen in chat, follows, or anything like that. I've never messed around really with this, but it's really cool from what I've heard. Curity, same thing. You can just uh, give them interesting facts as well. I don't have that set up yet. So that's the big thing here, though. Ads. So whenever you like roll a mid-roll ad, it'll automatically pop up in chat. Or like a pre-roll. Here's another fun thing. So the raid messages here, the raid messages here show that you can uh, you can set, you can do this customized shout out for them when they raid you, and it's it's another way of just saying I uh, thank you for the raid by giving them a shout out as well to so welcoming them to your community community. So like you could start it for your raid specifically like where you're raiding somebody and then copy and paste the raid message into their chat. It's really cool. I've definitely done that before, but you also can do it where it automatically shouts out the raiders itself when they raid you. Um, I'm going to set this to mods and VIPs as well because again, I don't have all my mods always. I put it in English. I put it in normal because I don't want to be too, too crazy. And, of course, I throw in some of my favorite emotes in there as well. And I hit save. You can describe them if you would like or you don't have to. Your two messages, one with your email, one without. Um, I'm going to go no. And then I got Wild West Outlaw set for mine. I think I'm going to change it to Shakespeare and Actor, but you can change it. So whenever you, you're going to raid somebody, you can set it up. And 
you could do it automatically, right? So, actually, I'm going to go with Dr. Seuss for my stream today. Which I do stream at twitch.tv slash radicalfoil7096, as you saw. 11 a.m. Eastern on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I would love to see you there. And that is, so that is what happens. So if I go in there and I shout out one of my lovely viewers that I always a uh, loyal viewer. Pesky Peas, for example. From the Pesky Pineapple Productions. If I shout her out, it'll pop up in chat. Sometimes it's delayed, but it does pop up. See, there it is. And then the same thing. So say I use my uh, my best friend, Shiny Hero, and I'm going to raid her. This is how it works. Well, that's my Nightbot command. So there's the Nightbot command I have when I get a raid. There you go. So, see? So you can do that as well, and it works. That is how that works. That's how Frosty Tools works. I actually want to try out Hulk Hogan in Star Wrestler. I think that's going to be fun. So that's how you do that. That's how you set up Frosty Tools. If you have any more questions about any more tips for about Frosty Tools, feel free to let me know. And I will gladly help you. Thank you so much, guys. Let's go back here. Thank you so much for, for watching and hanging out for this video. I love it. Thank you so, so much. And I hope it helps your channel grow just like it has helped me with interactivity in my chat as well. I love you guys. And I'll be back with the horror content coming smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. More and more and more and more. So I, uh, I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Stay safe. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.